Hi guys and gals and kittens and welcome to the I Need a Magic show. In this video I'm going to show you how you can turn a CSV file into an AI agent. Now this is significantly different from RAG. I need to emphasize what we're actually doing here. We're building a true AI agent with the capabilities of actually looking up data from your CSV file. But first let's have a look at our CSV file. We have it open here. Here you can see we have a CSV file with some 10 columns and some 80 rows. Now what we want to do we want to first create a database. So let's go to databases, click CS, uh, write CSV and create a database whose name is CSV. Notice that's a very bad name. You might want to choose another name. Then you click the three dots here and you click the import CSV file at which point you can import any CSV file. I need to emphasize this probably won't work with millions of records or gigabytes of size on your CSV files, but it's probably going to scale up to possibly hundreds of thousands of uh, records, depending upon the size of your record. Now, when I select this file, what's actually happening is that a new table with the name prices is automatically created. And for every single column inside of um, my CSV file, it creates one new database field or column. Then it iterates through every single record. So now if I go to SQL view and I do select all from then I can choose prices at which point you will see that I now have 80 records in my database. I now transpired my CSV file into an SQLite database and I can now use the CRUD HTTP endpoint generator to automatically create an API wrapping this database. If I now go to endpoint generator inside of create. Now I'm going to choose CSV. I'm just going to click generate endpoints and that's really it. Now I got 265 lines of Hercule Lambda code automatically created for me. And I can have a look at them inside of my CSV guy here now. If I, for instance, choose as the prices.get.hl and I invoke it, you will see I get by default 25 records returned back to me from the server. Now, what we want to do, we want to create a new machine learning type. So I'm going to call mine very creatively CSV. I'm going to choose the flavor of AI agent. I'm going to save it, go back to Hyper ID, expand modules, choose the CSV guide, hover over it until I see the flash icon, click it, choose it and select CSV as my type, click generate. And now what it's basically doing, it's actually creating RAG data that actually allows me to use CRUD invocations towards my SQL light database that happens to be created based upon my CSV file. So now if I go back to machine learning here now, I choose training data and I choose CSV, you will see now that I got basically RAG training snippets that are basically AI function invocation declarations for every single table in my database. This only has one table, of course, because it's based upon my CSV file. So now, <clears throat> if I vectorize this uh, type, which of course creates embeddings for it, for them to when this process is done, closing this window, opening up my AI expert system, and um, I can now refresh it and choose the CSV guy, then I can ask it, um, what's the price in Palma? And what's actually happening now is that the um, AI chatbot realizes it needs to invoke and execute an AI function that looks up data from my database. And why didn't it return any data for Palma? Okay, so let's find something it actually has then. Uh, select all from, from database, from prices. Okay, what do we have? We have uh, Baleadas. And here you can see. And this is actual data taken from my CSV file. If I now go back into numbers here now, find Baladas, 4.663 per square meter, 4.663 per square meter, monthly change 2.2, uh, quarterly change 4.9, etc. etc. So I now have taken a CSV file, I've transpiled it into an SQL database, then I've automatically generated HTTP Web API CRUD endpoint on top of that database. And then I took those HTTP CRUD endpoints and I wrapped them inside of an AI agent, allowing me to do this shit. That's pretty cool if you ask me.